Hey, Charlotte, it's great to talk to you here today. I have one question for you. What do you believe are the main forces driving organizational transformation today? Hi, Nicolina. Thank you for asking this question. I really love it because during the discussion we have with customer, we can tell there is several factors driving uh, transformation today. And they need to reinvent themselves. You know, they need agility. They, it's becoming extremely important. So first one, it's digitalization. You know how it is important. Like company need to reinvent their process and gain efficiency. According to a survey we made with Cornerstone Lab, 30% of CEO believe in their team are equipped with the necessary skills for the future development. And while 72 the upskilling are their top priority. Do you have the same feeling when you talk also with your customer, Nicolina? Definitely. I think what I'm hearing from you, it's also confirmed by many customers that I work with and many different HR departments that I collaborate on on daily basis. Are there some other um, areas that you see are really important in driving these transformations today? Yes, of course. You probably heard about employee expectation. Everything's changing now. It's changing for many years now and the, the growing demand, demand for better work experience. Like they need flexibility. We talk also about well-being, but not also when we talk about well-being, it's not just the feeling good in the company. It's the totally experience you have used the company. So they, they need the demand for more training, for more coaching, and they want to evolve. So they really want to find what they want in their company today. Have you and also heard about that? I'm sure. For sure. Working with customers, I'm noticing that a lot of them are looking into how do you follow the experience of an employee from the moment that they start considering of applying to be part of your company up until the moment that they decide to change their career, or maybe grow in, in any direction that they wish. And definitely health and well-being is a big topic that we see being frequently spoken in terms of having more content, just like you were sharing. Uh, there's more need for, for also understanding health and well-being in much broader terms that maybe than maybe we used to in the past. Totally agree with what you said. And that is another topic, really important. You talk about learning, content they need, and company need to be competitive. There is a lot of pressure. So to be performant, they, they need to navigate in uncertain business future. So they need to be ready, ready with this workforce. They need to have like the good person in the right place to be performant. And the performance of the employee will help the company to be better uh, and to be more competitive. Thank you for sharing that, Charlotte. I really appreciate you taking the time to share these answers with us here today. Thank, Thank you. you, Nicolina. Pleasure for me.